Well, State Senator Sarah Kyle of Memphis will take on gun violence with a town hall meeting next month. But she's also speaking out against something else that affects us all, transparency in state government. Senator Kyle, welcome to Live at Nine. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you all this morning. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. When it comes to transparency in government, it's a phrase that we hear a lot. In this case, especially in the state of Tennessee, what are we talking about, especially when it concerns public workers and uh, privatization? That's true. Governor Haslam is exploring outsourcing and privatization of jobs in the areas of maintenance and operation in all state facilities. That would include your campuses, your state prisons, your parks, offices. But I'm very concerned because at this time, our state workers are doing a good job making a living wage. Now, if you privatize jobs, what you are doing is giving a private company profit. They most likely are going to cut the wages, the salaries, and we're not even sure the money this company gets would stay in Tennessee. So these people, that uh, the employees who are working now, well-managed, facilities. It's not even certain that outsourcing to a private company would save us money, the taxpayers' money. At this time, a study has been done. The facilities at UT, for example, it costs five dollars a square foot to maintain and uh, keep the operations going. A national facilities management group came back with estimates that if you privatize, it would cost anywhere from eight dollars and one cent a square foot, $8.99, $6.20. Now, we just don't have yet a transparency on uh, what the governor's doing and what we should be doing. On the other hand, though, Senator, you're going to have so many folks out there who will say that if private companies do come in, wouldn't that save money? And shouldn't we be looking into things like this, especially during these tight financial times for the state? You're right. We should be looking into this, and there should be transparency. But what we have had at this time is one committee meeting, and we only heard from the administration. We need transparency. I did ask the committee to allow uh, state workers to talk at that time, but it was it wasn't granted to me. And I've asked them if they will allow them to speak in December or January. But in the meantime, since they aren't heard from, at the committee, uh, people like Senator Lee Harris have been going across the state meeting with state workers, Senator Jeff Yarbrough of Nashville, Representative John Ray Clemens. These people are just out traveling on their own, visiting with state workers. These uh, reports have come back. They like their job. They're doing a good job. There is no proof yet that it would save us any money should we outsource to a private company. Got about a, a minute left here, uh, Senator. Another issue that affects us all that we heard about earlier during the news block of Live at Nine, gun violence happening right here in Memphis. We heard about the young student, um, a Memphian, on the Tennessee State campus last week. What can be done? What are you proposing right now about this problem? Well, at this time, you know, Tennessee ranks, ranks ninth in the nation in gun violence. I am having a meeting on November 17th, 5 o'clock, at the Ed Rice Community Center. We're bringing in law enforcement. We're bringing in Moms Demand Action, a national group, and others who will sign up and come speak to us. There's very, very opinions in the community. I have very responsible NRA friends who think uh, the way to safety is everyone being armed. Then you have uh, friends who are opposed to guns, period, who are saying the way to safety is to not allow guns uh, for everyone unless there's strict controls. There has to be a balance. There has to be sensibilities like you see the NBA did with the Grizzlies. They said, no guns at our game. Uh, I think Senator Lee Harris has now pushed forth legislation that said there will be, we should have no guns at like Memphis in May and gatherings where you can't tell who's the good guy, who's the bad guy, and when they are using these guns. So we've got a lot to talk about and a lot to compromise on. All right, Senator, thank you very much. Thank you, Appreciate both for you being having here. me this morning. Sure. I appreciate it. All right.